currently looking at a Sony Vaio running uh, Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid, which is the LTS, with KDE 3.5.11. Now that might seem a little odd as far as the numbering, because most people remember the last release by the KDE team being .10. Well, this is actually the fork brought back from the dead, call it what you want, um, of KE 3.5. This is Trinity as the project is known, or Trinity Desktop Environment. You can actually download this particular project off the Ubuntu site. Um, just type in Ubuntu Trinity Desktop in Google, Bing, your favorite search engine, whatever that may be. And it will bring you to this. You can pick from Maverick all the way I wanted to say back to Jaunty as far as what distros you want to run and what version of Ubuntu you want to run. Now, other distributions you can install this on. However, Ubuntu is my preferred flavor of Linux. DB and base mostly are my preferred flavor. But there are certain features and functions that are not included in this. So if you want to have pretty effects and widgets and all that other stuff and plasmoids, this is not the one for you. But some of us do like KDE 3.5. I am one of those people. It's To me, from my experience with KDE 4, KDE 3.5 is more stable. It does not have a lot of the programming issues. The technology, while older, there are features and functions like within Amarox that I love as a music player that are not in Amarox 2. So I will go back to using something that is more along the lines of what I like to use. Now, the biggest thing that draws me into KDE, at least on this particular version that it is running, they have incorporated the one thing I did like. Um, back in 3.5, you had a couple different places to do system settings. Now they have incorporated the system settings from KD4, which is tied into one spot. That I do like, so that is incorporated into this. Um, another difference with, this is mostly distribution based, um, this is not running K Office, this is running OpenOffice. I will be uninstalling OpenOffice and I'll probably be installing uh, IBM Lotus Symphony, as that's my preferred usage for Office stuff. But... Another feature that I like is while Conquer is still available within KDE 3, or KDE 4, excuse me, you, it is not the default. Um, I find Conqueror to be a better file browser, personally. I like the fact that it incorporates the file browser, the web browser, a bunch of stuff right into one environment. That is something that Dolphin does not do, in my honest opinion, and I find Dolphin is kind of a kludge to actually use. So, now some might disagree with that opinion. Some might, uh, some users that I know love Dolphin, but for me personally, I do not like it at all. So, that's just a quick rundown. Um, I'm not going to get into a lot of the programs and stuff. Um, most of you who are going to watch this 3.5 video know what KDE 3.5 included for the most part. Um, there really wasn't much variation between distro and distro. Some, but not a lot. So, just giving you guys the know that KD 3.5 is still kicking. Give it a try. It is still a good desktop environment to use, even if the KDE devs say the project is dead. I say, long live the open source nature of desktop environments. So, use it, don't use it. It's up to you guys. Rate it, subscribe it. Peace. You know what the hell to do.